Alright, welcome to some breaking news. SRAM Red, 12 speed. Here we go. Here are the first sights at the Japanese race Tour de France Saitama Criterium. Anyway, as you can see on the screen here, it does look very different to the normal SRAM. So we got start on the chain rings. This is a very interesting design. It looks like Dura Race 9000 almost with that sort of silver look. I did rate that. Uh, integrated power meter, I believe, with an integrated battery. Uh, and then we also have a very odd front derailleur, as you can see here, a 5037 on the front with a 1028 cassette on the back. So I guess that will give far greater range because a 5010, I believe, will probably be bigger than a 5311. That will be my prediction. Um, we can have a look at that later. Um, but anyway, it's just it's just good news that there's going to be SRAM 12 speed ETAP because it means that the other one's going to be cheaper. So anyway, on this Katusha bike, we're then going to move up to front derailleur. It looks pretty similar to the ETAP of now. I was saying to my mate, it looks a little bit bulkier maybe, but I wasn't sure if that's prototype. So it's like they, they all normally slim it down for production or if it's just because of the battery. Um, but either way, looks decent. Uh, this chain is also very interesting. Looks like it probably is unidirectional, I'd say. Um, and then the derailleur is also more of a direct mount fitting here. You remember the new Shimano Dura Ace 9100, like you can, you can sort of get away with, get rid of one of the um, pivots on the derailleur and sort of hook it straight to the chain, so, sorry, straight to the frame and the uh, rear dropouts. And you can see that here. Um, rear derailleur doesn't look mega different, to be honest. Looks pretty similar. Same battery style here, I guess. I hope they'd be the same batteries. Looks like that, that to be at this moment in time. We then have the jockey wheels. Jockey wheels look quite nice. Are they ceramic speed? I don't know. Uh, so as I was saying before I got confused, uh, is disc brakes, uh, so obviously they've got the hydro, will they make a normal disc, like normal uh, for rim brakes? I'm not sure. SRAM seem like quite odd company, they could just be like, lols, we're not going to make a, a caliper one, um, but I think, to be honest, I think they probably will. Um, so you can see here, the 12 speed exclusive chain with the outer periphery is flattened as used, and the shape of the rear cassette is going to a maximum of 28. This is translated, so obviously, you know, we've still got... Um, still got a little bit of English, it doesn't exactly make sense. The outer chain ring is 50 tooth um, with a 10 tooth, the gear ratio of 5 is realised, so that corresponds to a 10.6 tooth uh, with a 53, so I guess it is a smaller gear because you can only get a 5311. So that's pretty ideal, I guess you get a bigger ring, bigger gear and 50. But then I guess the thing is it does come down to efficiency, like is a 10 too small? I mean even an 11 is pretty small. But look here, cassette style looks very interesting, uh, looks like is it a one-piece cassette? I'm not 100% sure if that's one-piece cassette. I think there's 28 cassette, cassette. The 28 tooth um, could be could be different. Um, but yeah, I think that's it's looking pretty nice, to be honest. Do we have any more pictures? Uh, no, we don't. Um, will it be compatible? What is the free hub situation? Will it sit on 11-speed free hub? I'm guessing it will. Um, so obviously the chain then therefore must be a different width. What is happening to Shimano? Shimano, where is your 12-speed? Um, you've been mugged off. Uh, people thought this might be a one-by group site only, but I don't think it is. It'll be interesting to know if they have a clutch derailleur or if they have um, specific single rings for this and they've built it so you could run it single ring because, to be honest, like that would be pretty mega. Uh, at this moment in time, none of that is clear and I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy this quick video on SRAM 12-speed. I'm getting pretty excited about it because I think ETAP might become more affordable and maybe I might be able to buy some ETAP, but probably not. Anyway, what do you think about the SRAM Red ETAP? Uh, 12 speed is that better than the Camagnolo for me it is because Camagnolo is very expensive and SRAM generally is a little cheaper and also will it finally make Shimano bring out a 12 speed uh, DI2 um, Dura Race and then everything else might then start to cheapen and do you even need 12 speed that's the other question anyway cheers for watching hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one